Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. Today, we are talking about traveling with your wedding dress. Before we continue, please be sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, let me know if there's anything you want to see, hear, or know about. I am here for you. All right, when it comes to traveling with your wedding dress, Obviously, there are so many different ways in which people travel. Perhaps it's by, actually there aren't that many different ways, but there's your car and an airplane. Those are the two ways in which that are the most common to travel with your dress that we're gonna break down in this video. So when it comes to driving your dress, your gown is going to come in a garment bag. People usually want to bring an SUV. You don't necessarily need an SUV. If you have, let's say, a sports car, you can literally lay down the front seat. You hook the hanger over to where the headrest is. You have the two little sticks. I just literally hook it, usually around one of them, and I just lay the gown right down. Perfectly fine. Don't try to go get a minivan or borrow an SUV to take your car, your dress home. It's, it's really not a big deal. You can also just lay it down in the back seat, in the trunk, all good to go. Things that you want to consider is if your bridal store has steamed the gown for you, obviously when you put it in the garment bag to put in your car to travel from destination to destination, perhaps it's from the store to home and then from home to your venue or home to a driving destination that you're going to, Keep in mind that while it's in the bag, it is going to wrinkle a little bit. So you're going to want to take it out of the bag once you get to the destination. So if you're going from the bridal store to home, take it out of the bag once you get home. Make sure obviously the surfaces are clean, no animals around. Please be sure to close the door and it is a safe area for the dress to be in. And then let's say you are going to the venue or you're traveling from there by vehicle, be sure to put your dress back into the bag. You'll lay it back down in the car and you're good to go. Something to keep in mind, please do not leave your gown in the car for a long period of time. So gown and beading, they turn yellow to heat exposure. So you wanna keep it out of sun and in a cool, dark place. So it, definitely in an area in which you have the AC pumping and no direct sunlight is being put on the gown, the veil, accessories, none of it. If you are traveling on an airplane, you can actually fold your dress. Please do not check in your gown. Do not do it. Don't even think about shipping it. Absolutely not. Shipments get lost all the time. Do not ship your gown. Do not check it in. It, I've had brides that have come to Lavella, and I don't even know why I'm smiling for this, but I have had brides that come into Lavella four days before their wedding, and they checked in their dress and it's gone. So we literally have to, they have to purchase a sample gown, get it altered, and make it ready for them to walk down the aisle. And it's a nightmare. Do yourself a favor, no checking, no shipping. So when it comes to traveling in an airplane, you can actually fold your gown depending on the size of it in thirds. So if you fold the bottom and the top, you'll have kind of like a burrito, sort of. It'll be in three, and you can put that into a carry-on luggage and roll it on the plane with you or you can hold the garment bag and if you have a really nice flight attendant that is willing to allow you to hang it in the first class cabin closet you've hit the jackpot if they don't allow you to hang it in the closet no big deal you can fold the dress in half place it in the overhead bin and you're good to go so please, if you take anything away from this video, be sure to not ship your dress, do not check it in, keep it in a dark, cool place while storing it. You don't want it to turn yellow or tarnish any of the beading on any of the items that you're wearing on your wedding day. Do not let it out of your sight. For more videos like this, please be sure to tune in and I will catch you in the next video.